Good afternoon, everyone. So as Christina said, I will talk about elderly East. That means I will talk about aging in East, but I will talk about aging in the bad East, not the East which makes alcohol or bread. It's the East which causes meningitis and oral and systemic infections. So what is aging in East? Like we age, East cells age too. So they give birth to younger, uh, younger uh, buds, and then finally they die off after they grow age. So as we age, what happens? We develop wrinkles in our skin. So do yeast cells. As they age, they develop wrinkles. In the case over here, you can see these are younger generation cells. They are freshly minted, and they are without any wrinkles, while the older generation cells over here, you can see full of scars which are the wrinkles. So you may ask, why do we even care about old hags? This is because just as we grow wiser, as we go, grow older, these yeast cells also grow wiser. So an experiment was done in the past in which an infection was done. And in this infection, there was a mixture of young and old cells, the black ones, over here are the old cell population, and the uh, white ones or the gray ones are the young cell population. And when antibiotics were given, the antibiotics could clear out the younger ones while the older ones still persisted in the system. So when the antibiotics were rem uh, removed, these older cells give rise to younger ones, and the infections came back. So my research focused on why this older cells survive the antibiotic stress. So what I did was I isolated the younger population and the older population of yeast cells and injected them in host. Over here, we used this as a host, which is basically a larvae of wax worm. And then we monitored the survival of the larvae over time. So what you see over here, the y-axis determines the person survival of the host over the period of time of the experiment. And right now I am showing the group of, East, uh, group of host cells which were infected with younger population of cells. And as you can see over here, the red line uh, goes down. That means the person survival of the host cells are going down as the days progress. However, when the group of the hosts were treated with drugs. These host cells, the survival percentage went back to the control, suggesting that the drug therapy successfully cleaned out the young, uh, cleaned out the infection caused by the young yeast cells. This was, however, not true in the group which was infected with older generation of yeast cell. As you can see over here, the green line. The, again, the percentage of survival of the host decreased with days, as you can see over here. However, when the host was treated with drug, the survival didn't change at all. They are still similar to treatment or without treatment, suggesting that this older generation of population somehow gained resistance to the antibi uh, antibiotic. So my next question was, why the, is this older generation cells developing resistance. So we saw under the microscope, so uh, these are to the scale, and you can see on the right side older 10 generation cells, and these cells are larger and bigger than the uh, younger generation, as you can see in the left. Bigger means stronger. And also the orange lines points, the cell wall, which is the first line of defense of a cell, and you can see the, uh, the cell wall is thickened in the older generation cells, suggesting that they are bigger and they have a better shield. So the take home message, antibiotic resistance in older generation cells is a menace. And what I study is the molecular mechanism of resistance in the older generation cells. And this study will aid in designing new targets that will be used to treat both the old and young generation of yeast cell, thereby preventing recurrent infections. Thank you.